When you think of potential competitors for Tesla, computer part manufacturer NVIDIA may not be the first to come to mind, but recently they have made big moves with their NVIDIA drive system, together with competing brands in one of Tesla's biggest growth markets, China. NVIDIA recently announced that four different electric vehicle makers in China will use the NVIDIA drive system to power their electric vehicle maneuvering and autopilot functionalities. Li Auto, Zika, Great Wall Motor, and recently even the new EV segment of Xiaomi, the globally operating electronics giant. In recent years, Tesla have made significant moves to get in on the Chinese market, despite how many independent EV makers are already based in the region. Most significantly, they built the $5 billion gigafactory in Shanghai a few years ago. Tesla have already been in fierce competition with some of China's top EV brands, like BYD, which recently even overtook Tesla as the largest seller of electric vehicles in the entire world. Now, with NVIDIA furthering their plans for the Chinese market, Tesla could have a whole heap of other competitors to worry about as well in the near future. NVIDIA Drive is NVIDIA's own autonomous driving assistance system. It functions sort of like the brain behind a vehicle that uses advanced deep learning, software stack modules, and sensor technology to navigate real-time driving scenarios. What's unique about NVIDIA Drive is that it is developed to be compatible with the cars produced by other external companies, rather than being created for implementation into one's own electric vehicles. I suppose you could compare it to how NVIDIA doesn't manufacture the computer you might be using, but likely made the graphics card it runs on. What this essentially means is that any company in the world that produces electric cars can focus entirely on their car's build, while in a way, outsourcing the autopilot system development to NVIDIA. A car manufacturer builds their car and implements NVIDIA's pre-built NVIDIA drive system to enable world-class autonomy for any brand out there. Comparatively, Tesla, on the other hand, developed their own Tesla Autopilot and Tesla FSD systems that are exclusively available for Tesla units. For a long time, this has been a leg up for Tesla on their competitors that may not be as advanced and developed in the field of vehicle autonomy, but with the availability of NVIDIA Drive, less established EV brands could catch up without having to funnel resources into creating their own in-house development teams. As previously mentioned, the Chinese market has been quick to pounce on this opportunity, and NVIDIA are now set to provide self-driving services for a bunch of different Chinese EV makers. The drive system is already implemented in vehicles from so many different companies that it would be hard to list them all here, like Xpeng, Volvo, Mercedes, WeRide, Amazon Zoox, Polestar, just to name a few. Their recent Chinese expansion is a step towards further building out their wide network of partners around the world. In terms of performance, on paper, NVIDIA Drive can for sure be seen as a tough competitor for the Tesla FSD system. At the heart of the NVIDIA Drive platform is the Drive AGX Xavier, a powerful and efficient AI hardware platform. It is custom designed for autonomous vehicles and packed with features that make it the powerhouse that it is. It boasts incredible levels of deep learning performance, which enables real-time data processing. This is crucial for making instantaneous decisions on the road. With six high-performance cores, it possesses enough processing power to allow the platform to handle a massive amount of data from various sensors, including cameras, LiDAR, radar, and ultrasonic sensors. NVIDIA Drive integrates a state-of-the-art sensor suite, which provides a 360-degree view of the vehicle's surroundings, making it possible for the car to detect objects, pedestrians, and other vehicles in real time. But what about actual real-world performance? Well, NVIDIA Drive has undergone rigorous testing to ensure its reliability. It's been put to the test on diverse road conditions and environments, fine-tuning its capabilities to handle various driving scenarios. In a previous video about Tesla's FSD system, we mentioned that Tesla's autonomy only reaches level 2 out of 5. NVIDIA Drive currently also offers level 2 autonomy for regular consumer EVs, but their systems can support autonomy up to level 4, meaning complete autonomy under limited conditions and driving zones. Having the functionality for driverless vehicles already might help NVIDIA reach the mythical level 5, full autonomy. Lots of companies are racing to be the first to develop level 5 autonomy, like Sony, General Motors, and of course Tesla. But NVIDIA's razor-sharp focus on just the driving systems might give them the edge here, 
and with their growing ecosystem of hardware and AI software technology, it isn't really that far-fetched. NVIDIA Drive isn't just about the technology, it's also about safety. Safety is paramount in autonomous driving, and the platform is engineered with this in mind. The deep learning capabilities enable the platform to handle a broad spectrum of edge cases, significantly reducing the risk of accidents. It's designed to operate safely, even in challenging conditions like heavy rain or snow. NVIDIA also tests their systems in multiple steps by starting with a fully computer-generated virtual studio driving environment before even getting out on the real roads for the actual testing phase. In this environment, they test everything from driving systems to in-vehicle entertainment screens, and hardware and software developers can work together in this environment to constantly make sure that everything in the vehicle is completely up to par. One could definitely argue that Tesla has has a leg up in terms of proven safety, being that they have a lot more data and a more proven track record. But Nvidia Drive's entry into the Chinese EV market could quickly give them a path to catching up. As we look to the future of self-driving cars, we can't ignore the complex regulatory landscape. Both Nvidia Drive and its competitors are navigating this terrain working closely with regulators to ensure the safety and legality of autonomous vehicles. Autonomous driving is poised to reshape the way we travel, making it safer, more efficient and eco-friendly. And while the market becomes increasingly saturated, NVIDIA Drive is looking to fight to be at the forefront of this transformation, providing the technology that's driving us towards this promising future. As we look forward, the Chinese market continues to be one of the most competitive EV markets out there. And apart from Tesla, Tesla and NVIDIA, other independent Chinese companies are making moves in the field of self-driving systems, so the race to achieve full autonomy has only just begun. Before developing their own FSD AI hardware chip, Tesla themselves actually used NVIDIA's hardware for their previous iterations of autonomous driving, before their initiative to have more control over the manufacturing of technology in their cars. As it currently stands, neither Tesla nor NVIDIA have a decisive lead in the autonomy race. Tesla holds the advantage in terms of available real-world data, while NVIDIA has a stronger foundation of hardware technology. It makes sense that they would be stronger in the field they originally came from, and now it might be all about seeing who can close the gap faster and go from there. But what do you make of all of this? With NVIDIA's rise as one of the largest tech companies in the world, do you think that they can challenge Tesla or are Tesla too far ahead in this field? Do you think NVIDIA Drive will stop expanding? Or is this just the beginning? And perhaps in a few years, most electric cars will rely on their systems. Let us know in the comments down below. For more coverage of the EV industry, worldwide markets, and everything else tech, make sure to subscribe to the Tech Oasis channel and take a peek at this video next to see how Sony's first entry into the EV market might throw a curveball into the industry as a whole.